I love that you wore your banana earrings. I did, I wore them for you. All right, banana earrings. Let's do windows up. Let's do windows up. Okay. So we are gonna take a little cruise in the Tesla and we're gonna do basically a podcast. <laughs> I'm that calling this funny. podcast. It's a podcast now, it's I, fine. I don't see why not. All right, Paul makes fun of me when I wear these. I do like them. They Let's make probably you look like Lady Gaga. Ooh, I'll take it. She likes French Bulldogs. I like French Bulldogs. I'm basically yeah. Lady Gaga now. So I'm just gonna take us around this beautiful uh, airport. Oh, she bosses me around. Oh. Yeah. So anyways, I never know if I should like talk the bangs like into the glasses. Oh, like, that's a good glasses, question. Right? Wow. Over. Over? Yeah, I think over. If my oh wait, no, hold on. Let's try to do it under. <laughs> <laughs> Are they under? Yeah, it's so weird. Ew. I'm gonna put her in self-drive. So I, you know, how I am obsessed about lash damage, right? Yeah. Like we did that podcast, the, the drunk liquor and lashes, and I was like, I don't care about symmetry. I do care about symmetry. I was hammered. I don't know why I said that. I care about all the things, but lash health is a big deal for me. I can't stop thinking about the post that lash. Um, cast radio or Paul and Tusney did the other day about damage not being real. Oh. I don't understand. Well, I don't, I don't get me wrong. I think they're talking like over time your lashes can heal. Like I haven't seen any permanent damage either. But, and I love con it's, I love people that have opposing opinions too. So I'm not saying that like, oh, they shouldn't oppose that. I like that they posted that. It starts conversation. Like, She's it's driving. steering itself. It's Say, like, uh, no hands. It's like the fucking ghost pianos at Disneyland. That, like the ghosts are just playing the piano. Except it's just me. <laughs> no. So anyways, I just, I just want to be upfront about that is that I think that we should encourage each other to have more conversations. So like never stop that. Right. Just for me, I can't wrap my head around how anybody would think that that would be true. Of course, I'm thinking about she did good work, right? So why would she see that? I'm talking about, like, why would your client see that? Because... Or, or why would she see that on her clientele? I'm talking about, because like... Because if they came from somewhere else, like, if you if you saved somebody with a... Like, you filled over somebody's work, you did, like, a... Like, a... What do you call that? Whatever. You saved them? I always say, like, yeah. I saved them. I you saved, saved them. their say lashes. It. You like, saved them. I did a savior job just yeah. now. I did <laughs> ask, have you seen any permanent long-term damage? And that's what they're saying. Like, we just need to know, like, if anybody has. Yeah. So, one great, time. Great question. Right. So, like, one time we had a girl come into our salon and she had been getting, remember tabs or like clusters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. She had been getting them put on for like over a year. How old was the girl though? Okay. So, she was like 40, maybe like 45. Okay. And she had never had them removed so the whoever was doing Ugh, your lashes I felt that to Ugh. put clusters on just piling them on glue mm. you taught you Sign told the fucked up story about that but like it was like 40 layers i'm like yes yes we had to like leave the remover on for over an hour it's not a great cut situation them off. okay she had super damaged lashes but over the next six weeks they grew back in normal they came okay. back normal. But that's a 40-year-old girl. That's one lady. What if you had a hormonal imbalance? What right. if you were older? What if you had more significant damage? What if there's a lot of like for what longer. ifs? For, and, for, and for longer. So yeah. that's just my point. Like, we don't know that. And I don't think the it's lashes true. have been around for that long to make statements that like, all right, we just, I mean, I guess you can't say that. If they haven't seen it, they haven't seen it. Fucking say that, right? But right. I just think that. It is a possibility. Because what about trucks and alopecia? That shit's fucking permanent. Totally. My eyebrows right? would say otherwise. Yeah. Right. Um, that's what I'm saying. To, to it being a possibility. <laughs> Did that just scare you? The <laughs> whole thing. Well, when we get to the stoplight, it's like, do you want me to go over here? Do you want me to go over here? So, like, I just give a little nudge, stay in the middle. I've lane. never been in a Tesla. I've been in one other Tesla before, but not self-driving like this. Do a podcast within a podcast. We'll do, like, an Inception-style podcast. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, so no, I just think that damage is a thing. I just have a hard time believing that we can be that resilient. 
Like, I've just since seen other shit that's permanent. Just when you get older, shit just doesn't function like it used to, where I just feel like you're taking a chance is all I'm saying. I think let's so, Let's just too. avoid, even, like, minimal, even damage, like, for part-time is not great. So let's just do a little right. better. Look at my lashes. I have, it's been, like, over three weeks. I'm, I'm just saying what's going on there. I'm busy guy. Yeah. But, um, look at this guy right here. Yeah. Like he's just oh, hanging on. It looks like you got some, like, texture work. Like, yeah. Done. Like, some are here, awesome. some are there. Right, let's really switch. You can drive. Okay. You pick the spot. Hey. I'm like, where's the door button? <laughs> yeah. Make a move. Okay. Car. What is your stance on, and it probably changes all the time, because I feel like it changes for me too, but, like, when it comes to, like, launches, right? Like okay. product launch or website, whatever, any sort of launch involved. Maybe it's a new venture specifically that like you don't have any experience on, right? Okay. I've typically been the launch fast and adjust kind of person. Yes. Or I'm like, I just want to do it. And then I learn as I'm doing it. That's not always great, but it's not always bad either. So what, um, what, do, you, what do you typically yeah. find yourself into? Let's so, so let's do a little uh, soft drive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? There's my Pilates place that we were just talking about oh with Alex. God. Yeah, it's called the workshop. Shout out. We're coming up on the right. This Our is girls. like my old neighborhood. I miss this neighborhood. See the sign? There it is. Mm, there it it's is. It's where I go to die every day. It's <laughs> where I have a little piece of it dies. Oh my god, oh my god. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. So anyways again. See? Okay, 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 okay. How does that how does that feel? It's like too volume for the first time. You're like, fuck. I know. Just it's sweating. literally, literally like Jesus take the wheel shit over here. Jesus take the wheel. Okay, so okay. launching. Because I know you've done a couple of courses. I know, like, how's, how's that been going for you? Are you just like launching and then adjusting? Kind of like, yeah. I so said, or you prepping hardcore? It's funny that you're asking me this right now because I am uploading as we speak in the Beauty Educators course launch time. Nice. And so I literally was doing that right before you picked me up. Oh, like talking about the topic? Yeah, I was recording. Oh. And um, so I just See? got through like it's the pre-launch period and then now we're talking about the launch period and then there's also post-launch. All right, so, so a little sneak peek of the course. Yeah. I'm hearing. So basically what I have learned over time and just through like oh, other coaches and whatever, um, but also just mainly through my own experiences is I'm sure there are, there's definitely different like personality type comes into play with this. Oh yeah. Like I'm like you, but we have like the same personality on all of the personality tests. Weird. So <laughs> we do though. We do. But, like we're, we're the same too. The speed limit. Sorry, I don't know. Like, no, it's okay. I don't know how to not drive your self-driving car. Okay. Like, very good. I don't know how to not not drive. Yeah. <laughs> so my personality is that I. <laughs> I want to make it perfect before I put it out there, but I also am like super ex excited to just get it out there. Yeah. Um, but I was literally just giving this little pep talk in my class. If you don't put it out there and you just wait and wait and wait for perfection, you're never gonna get it. So the whole thing is like, you really should launch it and just know that you get to relaunch it again after you fix it. The phone keeps overheating, um, so where is Yui. banging a Yui? There you go. You're yeah. heading to Boston tonight too. Get that I verbiage am. top of your mind. I if you gun that, that, you can make it. So when you're when you're stacked and there's like ten deep, it's like a full situation, full intersection. Okay. I like to floor it and go like <laughs> bang, just go. Let's do it. I should ask Jim. I wish. Oh my God! Actually, I have a present for you, oh, sweetie. buddy. I have um, oh nice the grown shown in the wash now yay thank you yeah. um, so back to the launch what I wanted to say <clears throat> is if you're waiting for perfection you might as well just keep waiting forever yes you have to launch stuff you have to get it out there I do think that there is such thing as having at least some sort of a proper launch so you're doing stuff pre-launch to get the hype up about your product so sure. that people are like aware that it's going to come out. Yep. Plan um, some posts, plan some emails. Exactly. Text messaging, whatever you do. Right. Influencer stuff. But sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes the timing is, can be awkward. Sometimes there's a wrench that gets thrown in there. You're like, fuck, we gotta move it up. 
or are we yeah. going to move it back or whatever? I don't think it should be like, I need six weeks pre-launch yeah. and I need no, 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 no. Like go with whatever's working, but like, yeah, I do think that there should be a pre-launch phase where you're at least talking about it, getting people prepped for it, especially if it's like a class, an online course workshop, you mm -hmm. know, product tweezer line, yep. like, <clears throat> But you have to know that you have to get it out there first to get the feedback on right. how to perfect it right. over time. So, and I and I think too, two two things here. I love you were so like on this same vibe today because like the post you did earlier. I was just talking about perfection is like a cop out, and I get I posted it because I'm in the launch phase yeah, of my and class. It's it is a cop out because think about this: perfection or your end goal is subjective. What totally. I think is perfect is might not be what you think is perfect because we're talking about creative things here. Right. Even at the end of the day, like I just it, that's just not how that works. Mm -hmm. Like it's okay to evolve. Like just just have that commitment to yourself that you're just gonna build and it's fine. And I think it's been it's worked so far for us. And I don't know. I don't know how everybody behind closed doors like operates. Like and I know that when I'm around a lot of creatives. I can tell they're not enjoying it because of these external or internal pressures that are you're applying right. on, on the product of the situation that like robs well, that like fun away. You're like I striving up to something that isn't even real. I just know so many people that have great ideas and like being on the other side, like teaching all of these women who are future educators or current educators, current salon owners, current pro product line owners, and like some of the things that hold them back from releasing something new and innovative is really fucking lame. Yeah. Like. It's all good, baby, baby. Oh. It was all a dream. I Show me your shirt, Al. I know. Plus, I look like in my in day day classroom. Mr. Magic Mountain. So, yes. So, I love that. I think that's really good advice. Oh, look at the light. Oh, cute. I love how, like, you're just really live in life just like laid back in this car you know that's a thing for me and I've always, always been like, this way no it's for whatever reason if I am in a passenger which I've never passenger driven car which is odd I get in people's cars and I like put the seat back <laughs> like I don't know why are we sitting like this what are we doing I mean I just up here just be a ow I just picked it's um like the best time of the year it's such a nice temperature out every day I walk my dogs in the morning and at night and I'm just like why did I not move here sooner? How do people live in other places? Because you grew up in Utah this place is and in Idaho, right? Yeah. Is it like a full split or so tell, like me, I, tell me about that? I actually, this is weird. I grew up in Nevada, oh, which is about the same like um, climate. I grew up in Nevada until I was 14 and then 14 to 18 was Idaho. And then 18 till 30, 28 was Utah. Okay. Yeah, I lived 10 years in Utah and then I moved here. Where has been your, I mean, obviously, it's a question. This is your favorite spot, right? That you've lived so far? Yeah. Because I know sometimes you can be nostalgic and. No. Like, I absolutely love Boston. I love where I grew up. I wouldn't want to be from anywhere else. I'm sure everybody says that, but I really mean it. And if the weather was still good, I probably would still live there. Like, I love that place. But the weather's unbearable, so you just gotta go. But it's nostalgic for me. Like, I love. There's so many memories and like, I don't know. She's scared. Look at her. Oh. It scares the fuck out of me. I'm like, is it going to stop? So just go, when when we start to um, get up to the light, just like hold your hands up. Okay. Um, do, do one of these finger stretches. When you come to the lights, just start doing like, do, do voguing. I know. I'm like, are we going to vogue? Yeah. Anyway. Speaking of voguing, have you watched Pose on Netflix? Pose, P-O-S-E. I don't Billy care. Porter. It's a show about transgender, the transgender, like gay community, all of it in the in the um, during the AIDS epidemic in the eighties in New York. Oh, it is. I've seen it. I've seen the preview, but I, I love it. it. I actually watched it twice. Kristen Maxwell got me into it. Thank you, girl, because I, I like just her. love Billy Porter. So she Electra like says this. Um, it's it's like a big. There's like a lot of like scenes where you're like shutting people down. Like it's like a you'll love it. Okay. There's one scene where she talks about this girl was like, why are you going to copy my idea? And she was like, darling, she's like, 
you, that is just the recipe. She's like the seasoning of what makes the flavor. And I just like, I was like, bum. So it's like, uh -huh. totally. We all both have courses that are, you know, whatever. The million people have courses that are all the same, but it's like how you deliver the course. Totally. Right? And it makes it. It's the relationship that people yeah. have with you. Give her a little bite of you. A little you. tip. Bye from you. Um, yes. Let's have you drive again if we're going to go get coffee or something. Meet your shorts wedgie. Oh, oh my god. I know. So dorky. Hold my on. Arm. I have to we'll be back me. soon. Don't worry. The AC's on and it's 71 degrees. I came back to my car one time <laughs> and these ladies were like, I left the dogs in here. They were stalking my car like bald eagles. They were like, that your car? I was like, yeah. I was like, ready to go. I was like, yeah. They're like, can't leave dogs in there. I rolled in the window. I was like, yeah. And I was like, honestly, I appreciate your, like, is it vigilance? Because people yeah, need to be called out, but don't worry. Dogs. I was like, I just wanted to show them. We got that quote once that said that, like, because everyone, for some reason, you know how like the whole industry like starts bitching about the same thing at the same time? It's tribalism. Yeah, well, people are like that. It just, just humans in general. Okay, well, the conversation like just goes tribe. towards something. So like, sure. everybody was like talking about copycatting, and they were getting upset about it, and everyone was copycatting everybody. And I posted that quote. And it was like, they can steal your recipe, but the sauce will never taste the same. It's the truth. And I was like, that's so fucking true. You know how many times I've tried to get my dad's salsa perfect? You're like, it literally, <laughs> like, <laughs> it doesn't work unless he fucking does it just business in general like mm -hmm. coke and pepsi like that is the way of the world you put something yeah. out there that this is america on top of it everybody's gonna follow suit that's just what we do this is the land of opportunity you can think that in your mind that people stole but like did they or did they just do it first you know what i'm saying yeah or did they just have the same idea as you at the same time right which that is very common like i can't Super even tell common. you how many ideas that i've had that people have launched and i'm like all right well i didn't do it i just had the idea right same have i ever told Sorry. you that i thought i invented perfect wine no yeah <laughs> i thought i invented you go, yeah <laughs> Let's set the record straight. People maybe were teaching it before me, but I invented it. I really did come up with it on my own. Had never learned it from anywhere, but right. did I copy anybody? <laughs> no, right. I actually just thought of layering in a specific right. way to create density. And right. then when I found out that that's what Russian volume was, I was like, oh, mother. Make, because it ah. makes sense because you ultimately came to that conclusion because it's a good idea. Exactly. Right? Well, why? You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Regina. I'm going to get a mango dragon. Hi, do you, does the mango dragon fruit um, Starbucks refresher come unsweetened? Yes, it does. I would love one of those. And can you just put like two pumps of lemonade just to make it a little sweet? Um, anything else for you? Extra, yeah. The smallest um, hot oat milk latte. It will be 880. 888. 888. Oh, repeating numbers. 888. That's, what does it mean? Does it mean something? I, we were the first people to have the Love Shack, the adhesive storage, and then eh, okay. everybody did that. Like, we still sell a ton of those, so it's not like we're not killing it. I love the name. Every, I wouldn't change anything. Um, so, but then everyone still followed suit. I was, I was meant for like a hot second. It's not like I'm still mad. It's so stupid to look back now right. to think that I was mad. It's just dumb. I'm like, great, great. It was a great, I look at it now. I was like, that was a, a great idea. Mm -hmm. Like, of course people were going to copy it. I didn't yeah. patent a fucking, that's already a product. That's their product. Grab the, um, I, I care want to grab the less product. and less as I get old. Yes. I was saying that earlier. Because you're how old? 36? I'm 34. 34. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to age you. It's fine. I'm 38, so I'm like, like a bitch. It literally doesn't bother me. I'm just me. trying to get you closer to me. I think I'm always going to feel young because Mike will always be six years older than me. So yes. he's 40. I'm 34. And that's how you stay young. You old, you marry someone older. High five. Good. Good. How are you? Right. And you guys are upset. Thank, Thank you. you. I got to tell you. Did you want the mist? No, no, no. Oh. Coronavirus doesn't stick to your cup. It only sticks to the mugs that they put your cup in. Okay. So even though they grabbed it to put it in the cup, the coronavirus is washed off now because mm. they get handed it to us yep. in a mug. It's the old and gate. We, it's the old gate theory. This is us taking just doing our, things just to do them. This was the gate that opened itself to let us get into the gate. Oh, cheers! Berries in here. Cheers. All right. 
There's so I said unsweetened. There's so much caffeine in those. This is caffeine in it? Yeah. I'm going to drop you off soon. You're going to fucking, <laughs> you're literally about to jump out of the moving vehicle and just roll out to your death because I'm going to not let you talk anymore. Let's find out. I'll drink it with two hands now. No. Oh, look at you. I had. Fancy hoe. On Monday, because I was like, Monday, I'm going to go to Pilates. We have tons of, tons of meetings on Mondays. I was like, I'm going to fucking kill it today. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to get after Pilates a nitro cold brew. Okay. Okay. So, and then I happened to see the chart later on that day of like all the caffeine in their descending order. Nitro cold brew is the top of the top. Then there's oh, like yeah. tea. And I was like, Super that caffeine. was my choice today. I didn't, I didn't calm down until 6 p.m. I was like having heart palpitations. Um, I was going to say about jealousy. Okay, talk to me. When I get like that feeling of jealousy, it's never like, I've, I don't think I've ever really been jealous of like bike, but like, well, that's healthy with my friends. Well, you keep um, okay. So we keep having some difficulties with the phone situation. So yeah, it's a little break. Um, so you were given some good advice about when you get jealous. No, basically my advice is figure out why it's triggering you because it's a yeah. problem <laughs> it totally is like it really is you know you're just in your own space like I just never see at the end of the day like me and you like I just don't see how your success dampens mine and that should go for everybody it's like I hope right. everybody does agree I feel like that's one of the things that everybody needs to work on is the the working out of fear and scarcity like people the are like scarcity mindset's bullshit there's plenty of clients whatever and it's like well but there's plenty of students to train too there's plenty <laughs> there's too many people do you know how many people there are too many too fucking many too many so relax not everyone's gonna be your flavor not i'm sure everybody likes our branding i'm sure as fuck sure no people don't uh, not everybody <laughs> likes your branding but I, I mean, it's like the middle finger isn't for everybody. So it's like, even that thought process is weird because you're thinking everybody's for you. Right. That's not how that works either. We do have like a niche clientele sure. and we really like go in on that. I feel like, well, this is relatable for you when it comes to branding and the way that we express ourselves and the marketing and subject lines that we choose to use. Right. Sometimes it can be a little bit too much for people, but it's like- Like that girl who told you to stop swearing? Is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> For instance, the weed, the weed post that we did for the 420, it was like a conversation of like, is this too radical? It was so successful. Right. Is it that radical? Like Forbes magazine, just, I shared the article. They did a right. live talking. So I feel like the world I live in is very, that's just not that radical of a conversation. It's just not. We got a fucking phone call the other day from the principal's office because my fucking six year old was saying swear words on the playground. And you, oh, no. do you even know what it did to me to not be like, I don't give a fuck. Call me when he's falling off the swing set. Like, I don't <laughs> care. It's almost like you would want them to have the wherewithal to sort of co self correct that and be like, okay, you, you know, use these words and recognize he's just doing it. But then where does it fall of like, are they, are they teaching your kids? So, because I don't have I kids, so I don't want to speak. I think it would have lied a fucking call. Yeah, but well, maybe not. it would have for some other kids. But he goes to a Jewish school. So, like, wait. Yeah, what? it's a Jewish. Are you guys Jewish? Fuck no. Where Shoshana is usually on my birthday. Oh, nice. No, she was talking about. I want to just watch this now so it's not on his record that follows him around. And I was like, he's fucking six. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. His record. His record? His school record. Like, where's the proof? Pull out the cameras. You can't understand what my kid says anyway. I love him. <laughs> he's really is cute. <laughs> he's a Cash. Are you kidding me? He's so cute. I want to get a dog. Oh, I was like, I want to get a dog in name of Cash, and then I want to get one in name Snacks. So, <laughs> snacks and Cash. So, he already has our next dog planned out, which I think Ooh. is interesting. Is it a rescue? Please tell me it's a rescue. Yeah, it's a rescue, but he says it's a big dog. Oh, they're always rescues. Sorry, I was, I get, that's to me is like a non-negotiable and I oh. do not back down, nor do I feel bad about it. I do have a French Bulldog, obviously, that's a purebred, but I've grown, like that was years. I would never purchase another French Bulldog. Right. Again, there's plenty that need to be rescued. So it's not even that. It's, you can find a rescue within even the breathing line. Just don't right. be fucking lazy, rescue one. Yeah. It's funny when people get mad 
And I'm like, well, why are you mad if I'm talking shit? Does it make you feel uncomfortable because you know that I'm right? What, why would you be mad? It's a beautiful place that's doing beautiful work. Right. So let me be clear. Those people are a pack of angels, right? But to see animals in cages, like, that to me is horrendous. Like, they need to be taken out of that. So once you see that, it's, like, so difficult to not yeah, have see it. Yeah, where it's like, oh, man. That's so like, many little guys that just need a loving home of all ages. So anyways. That's like our little Annie. Like, when we went yeah. in. Annie Banani. Annie Banani. Little Orphan Annie. We went into the big dog room. We walked a couple dogs, and we were like, oh. Maybe there's no dogs for us today. And then we we're like, should we go in the small dog room and just see? And we we're like, Ugh. like we went in there, they were all yappy. Annie was just like sitting in her kennel, like all fat as fuck. Oh, I love her. And I went over to her and she like rolled on her back and I was oh. like, oh, I kind of like this ugly scruffy one. And we went and walked her and she just stayed right next to her. How like, dare you say us. she's ugly? Oh my God, you, you gotta see her. You should have seen her when we got her though. She was way overweight. Her hair was all grown out. She had a big tumor on her back. And we were like, we love her. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Do the good work. They said that they that love she that. hadn't even really been looked at or walked in 30 days. Like, nobody was interested in her. And then she, they were like, we don't know what you did. Because as soon as we did, some other lady, like, wanted to get her, too. And we were like, no. We're, like, fighting over this dog. Really great. Our only so, dog we've ever had. But. Talk to me about um, your new lash trays. I saw that you did a little sneak peek of it. Oh, yeah. It's really cute. I'm so excited. Yeah, can I see it? Yeah. I have one in there, but it's like a makeshift because they just sent me like the sample background yeah, and then yeah, I took yeah. strips from another yes. one and put them on That's there. That's how it is, man. <laughs> Nobody cute. realizes how hard it used to be before like Canva existed oh but no like you, and i'm like i don't know what we're doing <laughs> you used to have to like cut out pictures and put them together and photocopy it <laughs> yeah i used to hire because i didn't know and now i have to get somebody to draw it for you i actually do a lot of um stuff on my own because this is apps mojo all those yeah. apps make it super easy so for somebody easy. like me to dive in there but it didn't used I, to be like that. I used to hire. I'm like, I said to my friend, I'm like, can you just put lashbird.com over this photo? Mm -hmm. That I would hire somebody to do that. Um, I love your space. It really is so cute. Hey. I love it. I love all the little details. But I'm actually surprised. But you say you didn't do a lot, where I think you have a lot of stuff going on there. I'm gonna show you my picture when we get inside. Thank you for posting about our t-shirts. We'll, oh, yeah, the, we'll, we'll bring them by. The reason why we couldn't, we had to do the pre-order mm -hmm. is that they went into production, but the print company that we work with it does so much business with medical marijuana companies in Arizona that they like couldn't print them until like we had to get <laughs> schedule. I was like, right I was like, good for you. That's amazing. I was like, I, I knew I picked the right company. I was like, your guys are great. So I will bring those by next week or, oh, or yeah. sooner, so whatever they're done. You know what I've started doing is one-off printing because I don't want to pre-order We shit. should do a uh, t-shirt club. Yes! I want to do more collabs. I love doing collabs with people that are fun and, and that I like. We need so to do... What about the bishop's thought? Yes! Oh, let me know. Um, Thanks. How you like them? Okay. I know you're going to fucking love them, obviously. I'm really excited for this guy. That? I use melatonin every day. Dude, this is another level. Like okay. I, I'm like a beast. It's hard to get me down. I, I, I fall asleep every night for 11 now because of that. How many sprays do you do? I do like four or five at night. Okay. Eight will get her done. Almost like there's like a weighted, like when Savannah was doing my lashes, I'm a little light sensitive. So my eyes like twitch and stuff that just, I'm just kind of a pain in the ass client. So I took a couple spritzes of it awesome, and I could feel, she's like, dude, your eyes completely stopped moving. And I could feel oh, because the relaxation, the guy. relaxation. Well, thank you for this um, lash artist and Tesla's little segment. <laughs> we have to do it again, and I think we'll pick up Jenny. Okay, we'll, we'll start bringing in guests to our show. Oh my god, she can guest star her new Tesla. Mm -hmm. One of them. Cool. All right, peace out, people. Bye.